Caleb. Hey. <laughs> what project did you choose and why? Why um, are you here? I came last year as a volunteer on the Marine Project um, and I had such a good time I decided to come back as an ARO for six months and I got here in December. Oh, yep. So what is the project? What have you been doing on it? Um, I The project is a diving project. Basically we are part of, we're based in the Marine Park here on Mafia and um, we go out and we record levels of fish, different populations of the commercial fish being taken from the waters by the fishermen and in the different zones of the marine park and we record the substrate, whatever substrate we see and whatever inverts we see as well. Um, the marine park's been running since 1989 and it was set up by Frontier so it's really good that we're still here continuing that work for them. Um, as an ARO, as an assistant research officer here now, so I am in charge of assisting with all of that process going on, training up new volunteers with our um, data, how to, how to collect the data and with the fish list, learning the fish and everything. Yeah, it's pretty, it means we get to dive a lot, which is really good, it's really fun. What kind of impact do you feel this has had? In the yeah. area? Yeah. I think, um, I just, I think the project's really great because it's a very easy, um, it's a very easy data collection method, so anyone can come here for a couple of weeks, learn the data collection method and then start um, collecting the data and because the data has been collected for so long it gives a really good impression of the fish levels and the, how the marine path has changed the area and how we've, we've seen the fish levels and the coral levels and everything going up so much over, over the years. So I think that's the main impact that it's having. Is, um, yeah, you can see you can see years and years worth of data. You can see how Marine Park is working. All right, well, on to camp life. How's that? Camp life is great. <laughs> um, it's it is a basic camp, and everything they say about it is true. Um, you will be living in huts. I don't know if you can see one behind me, but it's not. I mean, it's, it's not uncomfortable at all. You get used to it very quickly, and it's really great because you have to work as a team, and you have to find things to do in order to enjoy the camp life. I, my favourite thing about being here is living on, living on camp. I love living on camp and I love doing things, you know, doing all the things that you don't normally do at home. Okay. okay. Could you describe your daily routine so that someone can get a better sense of what you do every day? Yep. Um, we get up probably about 7 or 8 o'clock. Normally woken up by either the moth call or the various farm animals we have around. Um, which is a nice way to wake up in the morning. And then we have our breakfast and we get on with our activities. So if you're a diver, we'll go out diving on the boat or off the shore. Um, if you're a teacher, you can go and teach in the school in the morning. Or there's always things to be doing around camp if you're, not, if you're free in the morning. Normally, and then we'll come back and record our data or go to the beach. There's always plenty of things to do, even if you're not, if, even if you're not busy all day then there's plenty of other things to be getting on with anyway.